Hello everyone, it's Megan from the Haas Education Department here with another quarantine craft. So today's craft is actually more of an activity than a craft, uh, but I think it's really fitting considering the times. If you're like many families during this quarantine, you probably find yourself with an abundance of, you guessed it, toilet paper. So as you start making your way through the stockpile, here's some examples of a couple of enrichment activities you can create for your pets using the leftover rolls. Just like you get bored sitting around the house, so do your pets. So these easy activities give you both something to do. All right, so let's start with cats. Uh, most cats are pretty picky, so don't feel bad if you make something for them and they just ignore it. Um, I found, at least with cats in the colony room, they usually ignore something new until they think I've left. And then when I peek through the window later, I'll see them starting to explore it. Um, so a lot of cats like playing with milk jug rings. So a really simple way to amuse some cats is to just cut the roll into little rings. So again, some will like it, some will ignore it, but it's worth a shot. A lot of times the cats like just watching me cut them and the little pieces going flying. Another thing you can do is take the rings that you just cut and kind of slide them through each other to make a ball out of them. Some of the cats, especially kittens, like to bat that around as is, but usually for the adult cats I have to make it a little more interesting. Um, so that's where cat treats or catnip comes in. You can take a couple treats and squish them through the gaps in the ring or spritz the whole thing with water and sprinkle some catnip in it or on top of it and usually that gets their interest. <music> small animal room. Uh, some animals are going to like the TP tubes just as they are, so you can just kind of set them in a cage, but there are a few ways to make them even more interesting for your pet. The easiest thing for an animal that eats hay, like a rabbit or a guinea pig, is to just stuff the tubes with Timothy hay um, instead of the hay lying around in their cage. Then this makes your pet have to work a little bit more to get the hay out, and a lot of times they like chewing on the tube itself. Um, just like with the cats, you can also create a little ball out of the toilet paper rings and put treats or hay inside of the ball. And if you have pets like mice or rats, something that I like to do is to wrap a treat like a couple pieces of cereal or a dog treat or nuts or seeds in some paper towel. Uh, kind of roll that up, stuff that into the middle of the tube, and then stuff more paper towel on both sides of the tube for them to pull apart. Usually I think that's really fun to do. enrichment. Once again, you can get creative with this. It might take some experimenting to find out what your dog likes best. Uh, the first thing you can try is just starting with some treats that your dog really likes, folding them to the ends of the tube, um, putting in the treats, and then folding up the other end. If this is the first time your dog has done this, you'll probably want to make it pretty easy for them so they don't get discouraged. Um, so you can make sure you put in a whole bunch of treats um, and don't fold over the ends too tight so that the treats can fall out a lot easier. Um, some of the dogs get the game right away, but other times you might have to show them what's inside of the tube and shake out a few of the treats as little freebies to encourage them. So you can also do the same thing with your dog's food. Um, instead of feeding them out of a little bowl, you can just take their usual amount of food and divide it into a couple of the toilet paper tubes. Uh, the dogs at Haas eat a mixture of rehydrated kibble and wet food all mixed together, so we just kind of shovel some of that into the tubes for them to work on. Uh, this can get really messy, so you'll probably want to feed your dog on a hard surface that's really easy to clean up after, or do the feeding outside in the yard. So you can do this with pretty much any type of dog food. Our dogs also like the freeze-dried food like Stella's and Chewy's. Um, so that stuff's really good for this because you can break the patty down into little tiny pieces or almost into a powder and put that into the tube as well. And then just as an example of another way to use the tubes, especially if your dog isn't big on ripping or rolling the tubes to get the treats out, um, is to make a little arrangement of the tubes on the floor. Put a piece or two of different dog treats or kibble or tiny chunks of like cheese or hot dogs into the top of each tube um, and then let your dog in to knock them all over and have a little bit of a treasure hunt. Uh, the good thing about this is it's also a little less messy than the other ways as well.
I hope you feel inspired to try out something new with your pets as you're stuck at home for the foreseeable future. Um, we'd love to see videos or pictures of your pets enjoying your creation, so please feel free to message us with your results. Thank you! Thank you.